Hi and welcome back. So this video on nitric oxide was prompted by this comment. They asked, so here it is. Also, there are links in the description below to the studies and articles I used to put this presentation together. So nitric oxide can increase blood flow and also reduce blood pressure. Supplements that increase nitric oxide production may also be beneficial for managing certain other health conditions. Nitric oxide is produced naturally by the human body and is one of the most important molecules for blood vessel health. Nitric oxide is a vasodilator, meaning it relaxes the inner muscles of your blood vessels, causing the vessels to widen. In this way, nitric oxide increases blood flow and also lowers blood pressure. Supplements that increase nitric oxide in the body make up one of the most popular supplement categories today. These supplements don't actually contain nitric oxide itself. They actually contain compounds that your body can use to make nitric oxide and have been shown to provide many benefits for health and also for performance. Let's take a look at five health and performance benefits that can be linked to taking nitric oxide supplements. So first of all, we've got erectile dysfunction known as ED, and this is the ability to achieve or maintain an erection firm enough to have sex. L-citrulline is an amino acid that may help treat erectile dysfunction by increasing the production of nitric oxide. Nitric oxide is needed for the muscles in the penis, strangely enough, to actually relax. This relaxation allows chambers inside the penis to fill with blood, so the penis then becomes erect. In a 2011 study, L-citrulline was found to improve erection hardness in 12 people with mild erectile dysfunction. The researchers concluded that L-citrulline was less effective than prescription drugs used to treat ED, things such as Viagra. Nevertheless, L-citrulline proved to be safe and also well tolerated. Two other nitric oxide boosting supplements have also been shown to treat erectile dysfunction. And these include the amino acid L-arginine and French maritime pine bark extract. A form of L-citrulline called citronine malate not only increases nitric oxide production, but also decreases muscle soreness. Muscle soreness is an uncomfortable experience that tends to occur after strenuous or unaccustomed exercises. This soreness is referred to as delayed onset muscle soreness and is usually felt the strongest about 24 to 72 hours after a particular exercise. In a 2010 study, 41 people received either 8 grams of citrulline malate or a placebo one hour before performing as many repetitions as possible on a flat barbell bench press. Those given citrulline malate reported 40% less muscle soreness 24 and 48 hours after the exercise. And this was when they were compared to those who'd taken the placebo. Citrulline malate increases nitric oxide production, which increases also blood flow to all active muscles. In turn, citrulline malate is thought to increase nutrient delivery and clear waste products that are related to muscle fatigue things such as lactate and also ammonia. However, a later study on the effects of citrulline, this time after leg exercises, did not find citrulline malate helpful at all for the treatment of muscle soreness. In another review, 13 studies showed that while citrulline could reduce muscle soreness between 24 and 48 hours after exercise, it did not improve muscle soreness 72 hours after that exercise. Therefore, the ability of citrulline malate to decrease muscle soreness may depend on the dose, the exercise, the timing, and also the individual's fitness levels. However, for this topic, more research is definitely needed. People with high blood pressure are thought to have an impaired ability to use nitric oxide inside their bodies. High blood pressure occurs when the force of your blood pushing against the walls of your arteries is consistently too high. It's defined as systolic blood pressure above 130 millimeters of mercury and or diastolic blood pressure higher than 80 millimeters of mercury. Over time, high blood pressure can lead to health issues such as heart disease and also kidney disease. It's been shown that a diet high in fruits and vegetables decreases blood pressure and therefore lowers the risk of these diseases. This in turn has led some researchers to test the beneficial effects of certain compounds that are found in fruits and vegetables on blood pressure levels. 
Nitrate is a compound found in beetroot and dark leafy greens, such as spinach and arugula. When you consume nitrate, your body converts it into nitric oxide, which in turn causes blood vessels to relax and to dilate, and then lower your blood pressure. Several studies have shown that dietary nitrate may help lower blood pressure by increasing the production of nitric oxide. One review of 22 studies found that taking nitrate supplements significantly reduced systolic and diastolic blood pressure in older adults. In another review of 43 studies, it was found that the participants' systolic and diastolic blood pressure decreased by an average of 3.55 and 1.32 millimeters of mercury, respectively, after they drank beetroot juice. Flavonoids are compounds found in almost all fruits and vegetables, and they have powerful antioxidant properties. Some studies have found that increased intake of flavonoids could be linked to a reduced risk of high blood pressure. Researchers believe that flavonoids not only increase the production of nitric oxide, but also decrease its breakdown, promoting higher levels overall. However, a few studies have turned up conflicting results on this potential benefit. For example, one review of 15 studies found the consumption of flavonoid-rich foods had no significant effect on blood pressure levels in adults. Nitric oxide is involved in many cellular processes, including the widening of blood vessels or vasodilation. Wider blood vessels help increase the delivery of nutrients and oxygen to working muscles during exercise, thus enhancing exercise performance. This has made nitric oxide supplements very popular among athletes and recreational gym goers. These supplements often contain a number of ingredients that are said to increase nitric oxide, such as nitrate or the amino acids L-arginine and L-citrulline. In many analyses, nitrate has been shown to improve exercise performance in cyclists, runners, swimmers, and even kayakers. On the other hand, L-arginine has not proven to be effective for improving exercise performance in many studies. According to one older study, this may be because much of the L-arginine that is ingested is metabolized or broken down before it gets a chance to reach the bloodstream. Nitric oxide production may also be reduced in people who have type 2 diabetes. This leads to poor blood vessel health, which can lead to conditions like high blood pressure, kidney disease, and even heart disease over time. So supplements that increase nitric oxide may have important implications for diabetes treatment and disease prevention. One review of 10 studies found that supplementing with L-arginine could significantly reduce insulin levels in people without diabetes. A 2012 study of 144 people looked at the effects of L-arginine on preventing or delaying the progression of type 2 diabetes. While L-arginine did not prevent people from developing diabetes, it did increase insulin sensitivity and improve blood sugar control. However, another study found no effect of L-arginine on fasting blood sugar levels and blood sugar in people with diabetes. Therefore, until more research is available, it's premature to recommend taking L-arginine supplements to treat or even to manage diabetes. Nitric oxide supplements are generally considered safe when taken in the appropriate dose. However, there are some side effects that you must be aware of. According to some older research, L-arginine taken in doses above 10 grams per day can cause stomach discomfort and also diarrhea. Beetroot juice supplements can also turn your urine and your stool a dark red color. But although worrying on first sight, this is a harmless side effect. As always, before taking any supplement to increase nitric oxide, please consult with the doctor or dietitian first. It may not be right for you, or it may interact negatively with other medications that you may also be taking. So I hope you found that interesting or informative, hopefully both. I have thought about taking nitric oxide for gym performance in the past, but I never really got around to doing it. Please comment below if you've taken nitric oxide and you've seen or felt any benefits or indeed any of the side effects that I mentioned in this video.